Greetings. Today I'm gonna talk about MailCow. MailCow is an open source email server that we use for quite a while in production now. It has a lot of outstanding features like DKIM and ARC support, black and white listing, domains, even on per user basis, spam score management, temporary aliases, TLS enforcement on per mailbox basis, active sync, TOTP for domain admins or global admins, fail to ban, quarantine, and a lot more, which I'm gonna present to you later on in the video. MailCow can be deployed in an automatic fashion with a simple Docker Compose file. As you could guess, MailCow is running on top of Docker and you can see list of containers on your screen. Each container represents a single application. For example, Dovicot, ClamAV, Sorrel, MySQL, Unbound, and a lot of others. Important thing to note here is that you need to properly take care of Docker volumes, otherwise you can lose your email data. Here is the MailCow admin page. We've been using it in production for about a year or so and didn't have any problems. Updates are always going smooth and developers are adding a lot of new features. Product is rock solid. Developer team is based in Germany and at the moment it has a lot of community support as well. Let me quickly log in to admin web interface and show you the capabilities of this server. As I said before, server is capable of managing TOTP for admin logins. And here is how it looks like. By the way, you can add multiple OTP tokens to one admin account. In case if you have multiple admins, it's easier to manage it this way. Nothing really fancy is happening on the access tab. Here we have our unique instance ID. This is in case you need a professional support from developers team. It will also tell you if you have your two-factor authentication turned on. And then if you scroll down, you will see a list of domain admins. Configuration tab is a bit more interesting. You can generate ARC or DKIM keys from here. You can set forwarding hosts, fail to ban parameters, quarantine, and customize the login page for admin interface. For example, I've uploaded our company logo and then changed few text labels on it. Quarantine section will give you some control over quarantine retentions per mailbox, maximum size of large quarantine elements or maximum spam age in days. This section will also let you set up notification email template. But please keep in mind that by default, it will not send any email notifications about quarantine items to any users. It has to be set on per mailbox basis. We also have some mail routing options here. System mail tab allows you to send an email to all of the recipients on your mail server. For example, if you want to notify them about the upcoming update, or if mail server will be down for some time due to maintenance. And we also have a queue manager in here. This was configuration and details. Now, if we go to system information, we can see how much space is left on the hard drive and then status of every container that's running on this system. Then logs section will give you logs about postfix, dovecot, sogo, net filter, auto discover, and some other logs. Let's move down to mail setup now. Here we can add a new domain, delete old ones, or check if we have the right DNS settings. For example, if I go to my second domain and press DNS help, it will show me exactly what's happening. I couldn't set up TLSA records on my DNS panel because my provider does not support that. That's why I have all of these failed checks in here, but the rest of it is okay. Now mailboxes tab. In here, we see all of the mailbox that are present on our system. We can log in as user to the admin interface or we can view user's mailbox. Viewing user's mailbox function is optional and you can disable it if, for example, your organization does not allow that. 
The nice part in here is that you can see number of messages that certain mailbox received and how full each one of the mailboxes is. Resources tab is public resources like rooms or public calendars. Aliases tab will allow you to add alias to any one of the mailboxes. Sync jobs is very useful when you want to migrate from a different mail server to your mail server. For this to work, you will need a server address, active IMAP protocol on the other server side, and user mailbox credentials. Address rewriting is very useful when you want to monitor someone else's mailbox, or for example, if person left the organization and you want to forward all of the mail flow to a new mailbox. In here, you can see spam score, who it was sent to and where it was sent from. You can also see quarantine ID, subject, and when it was received. If we click on show item, we can see the full content of the message. We can release it, learn as spam and delete, or simply remove it. Also worth noting that admin interface is translated to a number of other languages that you can see on your screen now. If you create a mailbox and then log in as user to the mailbox, the default interface would look like this which is nice looking interface. You can go to calendar, you can create new calendars, share your calendars with coworkers. You can go to address book. It has your personal address book and global address book for your domain. And then you can switch back to mail. There is also a possibility of integrating Roundcube and our Roundcube interface looks like this. It's also got a address book, personal and global. The only thing it doesn't have at the moment is calendar, but I'm working on integrating the Roundcube calendar. Overall, MailCow is a great system. It's been working for us for last year, no problem. I really recommend it. If you have any questions about it, leave your comments down below. From here, we can also access our spam DUI. Let me quickly show you how it looks like. Probably the most interesting place in here is a history tab. We can see a list of emails that arrived to our server or left our server. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.